from birth to death, everything about our society is insane. From the warehousing of old people in nursing homes to the warehousing of children in schools to the taking away of babies as soon as they're born to be put in an isolation unit and if they're male, tortured in the most sensitive part of their body. The, the initial ritual after childbirth is they give you a cut on your heel. And I'm not just talking about the genocide, the atrocities, the mass murders, the torture, the rape, the horrors, but I'm also talking about the normalized suffering, the normalized trauma that we just take for granted. The young man mindlessly playing video games on his computer as his hopes and aspirations wither. The woman doing data input in a cubicle. The young man, not so young anymore, in his 30s still working at Dunkin' Donuts. It's a little, little bewildering sometimes because, you know, we're born into this and we're like, why, why are we here? It's not some kind of karmic punishment, okay, for bad deeds. And now we've fallen down to the sixth or seventh layer of hell. It's we've come here to help. We've come here to climb out. And you get maybe two or 3% of those in hell. They're making six figures, they're making seven figures. They're kind of doing all right until their teenager starts cutting herself and then nothing's all right. Each generation stands at the edge, at the wall, at the base, and stands solid and says, you climb on me. You climb on me. I'll give you a leg up. And then, and then those climb on them, and they're a little bit better off now. And then the next generation comes and climbs on top of them. Each generation stands a little higher because of the gifts of the previous generation. And finally, someday, some generation will reach the edge. They'll, their fingers will, will curl over the lip of the wall of the pit, and they'll grab a root or they'll grab a stone. And then once they've been pulled up, they reach down. And the, ne and the next and the next and the next gets pulled up.